Hi, Matt from PastaRecipesMadeEasy.com. Very quick and dirty video recipe. Chickpea pasta soup. Really, really easy. Um, very filling, good for winter. First step of this recipe, we've got a handful of the parsley leaves. They're just rinsed and torn. We've got the one garlic clove, which maybe you can see here. That's just peeled, so not chopped at all. And I've got an optional and extra here, optional extra even, some uh, chunks of belly bacon, some pancetta you can throw in. Basically pop those all in your cooking pan in some extra virgin olive oil on a medium heat hob, and we're gonna cook that for, I'm not sure, maybe five or six minutes, just until the garlic and the, and the bacon starts to brown. That's step one. Step number two, this is nice and nice and brown now, it's really beginning to uh, go a lot softer and it's shrunk a little bit. So step two, we've got a, a tin here of uh, plum tomatoes, don't know if you can see, there we go. It's just for two people, so we're going to pop two plum tomatoes in here. And the idea is we're just going to fry these gently just for two or three minutes, after which they'll have softened. Whoa, that's way too hot. Fry these for two or three minutes, after which they'll have softened, and then we're just going to break them up with a spoon um, to create more of a liquid mixture. Step three, you can see we've uh, just crushed the tomatoes, they're nice and liquidy and all broken up. Next step, we're going to just bring it back to a medium heat. I'm going to take our tin of chickpeas, we're going to throw them all in there with the juice, with the water, and I've just boiled the kettle, so I'm just going to fill the same can again. This just gives us a batch more water and we're gonna wow, throw that in as well so it's effectively two cans worth of water and a can of chickpeas we're gonna bring that to a simmer and when it's uh, bubbling away quite nicely we're gonna add the pasta so it's just come to the boil nicely simmering we've got our 150 grams of uh, broken spaghetti or roughly six ounces for you American types or well, you can also use cubetti, any of the tiny pasta shapes. Chuck that in, give it a good mix, and we're gonna cook it as per the pasta packet. So in this case, it's roughly 10 minutes, and that'll evaporate some of the water and give us a nice, uh, nice soupy, soupy treat. So we're pretty much there. Pasta uh, cooking time done. Parmesan sprinkled in there and mixed around to make it nice and creamy. Pop it all in there, I don't know if you can see that. Look at those nice colours, really multicoloured spaghetti, that was a good choice. And there you have it, this is chickpea pasta soup. Served with, I don't know, some crusty bread and obviously a nice glass of vino collapso.